I'm gonna kill those cows for their leather, so I can build some more armor. And you can kind of get a look at the wall. Moo indeed. I really need to get some iron soon. I don't actually remember. I didn't bring in a stock of iron. Set out. Okay, let's just finish this wall off. And uh, I don't know what the next section I'll I'll build will be. Uh, that's just pointless. You're in my courtyard, so leave. Okay. Ah, screw it. Access way. Ah, it would seem that that would warrant a walkway. So this will be one of my floors then, as dictated by height of uh, the hill. So this will be one floor. Okay, screw it. I'll fill in a little bit. But we'll make this a... this is a good panoramic vista. So I'll fill that in when I get the chance with... with glass. And if I'm doing a walkway... Well, this stuff will get cleared out later anyway. Whoops. At least it's a reclaimable block. Alright. Um, next on the agenda, perhaps... We'll go up here. I'm gonna get this... whoops. Done. <sighs> Fails in the hat. Holy shit. God damn it! <laughs> Scream at the sky because those bastards are everywhere. God damn. Should have been more careful. Though I don't actually anticipate that in the middle of the day there'd still be a creeper running around. Ah, oh, why do they torment me so? <laughs> You've ruined my aesthetics! Okay. Alright, it doesn't affect too much. Just Man, these coal veins are huge. I actually thought I'd stumbled onto a, uh, a very shallow dungeon then. And I thought it was actually a spider. Hence I backed out and ran into a creeper. Jesus, this is a massive one. Oh, well, I'm pretty much sorted for my coal stock for a while. Cool. Alright. And you have to go. As to you. Okay. Right, now we're going to build uh, another section of this bridge. So we'll cross back over. <laughs> Cl 
clear this out, make it a little bit more flush. I love that creeper sound. I mean, it's it's a horrifying sound to hear in its simplicity. And you know, a split second later, you're going to be in for a world of pain. So this is my roof. So I can kind of just cover this whole thing in, really. There's a lot of coal in this section. Dang. Okay. So, okay, if this is a roof, I'll start filling it in. Or maybe that's just not a productive use of cobblestone. I don't know. I need to make sure I retain some so I can build tools. So, I've got another 64 there. I'll just I'll finish off this 37. And then I can get back to mining. It would seem that that's a bit odd. Okay, maybe we'll just do this, just for the sake of sort of evening it out. Evening it out. I hate having this cold. It's like ruining my <laughs> my words. Okay, for the moment we'll just do this. And quickly. Whoops. Alright. Now I have to run back to my house and not die. That's fairly productive, I think. Yeah, that's starting to take shape, that's good. And back to the uh back to the old grind with the with the uh tunneling. Hopefully we'll actually discover something soon. Okay, while I'm here, I'll assemble some more armor. And I need a furnace actually, that's one of the things I need to build. So we'll start installing some stuff and making this more of a habitable base that's got everything I need. Okay, so where's the best place for furnace? Right next to my bed! Um, I think in this situation... I'm going to make it an outer wall thing. Screw it. Oh, whoops. That might not have been too smart. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay, that's better. I cook my pork chops up since I kind of need the health now. I hate the slow process, I have to do all the pork chops uh, individually. Seems like the danger's been cranked up a notch. At least I'm handling the monsters relatively well. I think... Uh, oh, whoops. The only time I'm going to really have trouble with monsters is when I'm in dungeons, since they're much more numerous and there's a much greater risk of actually popping out into uh, an area where there's a lot of them around. Okay. If I, I need everything, that would appear. So, I think we'll start off with the tunic. And I can build some boots. 
That'll have to do for now. Yep. Okay. Um, arrows. I can build some more arrows. I haven't actually heard a zombie for a long time. It's weird. They're not the sort of enemy that I've been encountering lately. Okay, what do we got? We got two pickaxes. Make hush, zombie. I'm working in here. I do not appreciate your interruptions. Oh shit, that was a supremely close... Was that a creeper or was it just a zombie? They know I'm here! Best go underground! Ah, fail. <laughs> I need a bit of adjustment there. But otherwise, looking good. It's the middle of the night already, and all I've done is make a few items. The cycle is actually relatively quick when you're actually doing stuff, and when you've got. Uh, I don't know. It depends on what you're doing, I guess. Like when I was building my cursed tower and I was clearing out all that, uh, all the dirt and everything. It was a extremely tedious process. And the night cycles seem to stretch on forever. And the day cycles seem to go for a fairly long time, but uh seems like I spent most of my time building that thing in the dark, which is just irritating. It's not fun building stuff in the dark. I have to remember to put the guardrails in. Okay, there we go. I'd like to hit something promising soon, please. Made a decent bit of progress, really. Though I'm nowhere near the bottom of the world. I think I need to go at least... Oh. Maybe double. It's difficult to tell. I think I started relatively high up, so I think it will take me a while to actually get to the bedrock with this system. Always pack spirit shovels and things, kids. Saves you making unnecessary trips. I'm kind of really pedantic about... <laughs> God damn it. Um... <laughs> I'm really quite pedantic about my use of resources in that I had, I mined a fair amount of diamonds, I think, I mean, not enough to make like a full set of diamond armor or anything along those lines, but enough to make uh, several shovels and pickaxes for use in excavations. And I was really, like, I, I got my first diamond pickaxe from my first base, uh, my ex excavations down my first uh, X system, my, e my first X light excavation, I went all the way down and found diamond and I had enough to build a diamond pick and a diamond shovel. And then I was just really pedantic about using them or, to be more precise, not using them. I didn't want to waste them. And I always... Like, I have this with all uh, 
all games pretty much like that are that have RPG elements where you have items that have uses. And it's like I'll never actually use certain items because I'm like, oh, I will just save them for when I actually need them. And I'll go through all these difficult sections not using these items and I'll just be like, oh it's still nah, I can handle this without the items, I'm good. And then it comes in game, I have this like glut of all these buffs and magic and everything essentially that I haven't used throughout the entire game I'm kinda of like ah oh, crap <laughs> may as well waste it all now and even then I'm only I only used a little bit <laughs> it's like I could have been using this stuff the whole game and it was only until it was only until I started doing the cursed tower excavations that I was like this is a really slow process with just stone and iron. It's like, I'm going to bust out the diamond pick. I actually ended up using two diamond picks and two diamond shovels for that project. Was it worth it? I don't know. I guess in Minecraft terms, good enough. And it's daylight now. What do we got? Another decent section. So we'll head back up and we'll continue on with the castle. Really do something about those odd little blocks there. God damn it. I just want to press quick save. I don't have a quick save, I'm just going to go out and die. Okay, creepers to the right, creepers to the right, gotta take on the creepers. Tango down! Not on my watch, sir. You will relinquish your gunpowder and allow me to expand my empire. Which is actually fairly... Uh, if you say that I have, I control essentially all the sections in between what I've built, I have a fairly sizable empire in this game. It might not be impressive, it might not be like structural marvels or anything, But I've covered a fair amount of ground. I'm just wasting arrows now. Go away. Bloody spider. Is there any more creepers out to ruin my day here? Pig air. I used to always ignore pigs. Because I, I just never had use for their, uh, their meat. Now they're supremely important. Uh, black wool. Epic. Okay, what's... What do I need to actually do? Okay, I think it would be best to fill in that top section. Yeah, let's have a very stunted floor. Yeah, I might actually do that. I have a stunted ceiling and floor. So I have two two layers of windows and I have another window in that section. And that shall be good. Okay, how the hell do I get down here without killing myself? I lost all those arrows that I missed the spider with. God damn it! Okay, well at least I think I've cleared out like all the the monsters and stuff, which is good. There shouldn't be any surprises. This isn't exactly how I like to build. Um, I do prefer to have the three high uh, ceiling. But it seems that um, windows have dictated uh, where I put my floors. Otherwise it's just, it's excessive redesigning 
And I can't really re it with that. Okay, well this is just to smooth this out. This is going to be like an artificial little section. across like like so and drop down here I don't know <laughs> Psh, I don't know what I'm doing We'll make this. This is the wall then. The wall by which all things are judged. Okay, this way I've got a boundary for my castle. So that bit's just... Nothing. Stop doing that. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve in Minecraft. Even above creepers, you ask? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's still pretty annoying. in this whole wall then we have a, a clear boundary section and I can just work from that and I can't jump any higher Ah, the silence of concentration. Make me feel like I'm running out of things to say. Which is probably the case, which is why I'll probably just cut the session off once I reach the end of this day cycle. As is my usual pattern. Convenient. little hidey hole. Yeah, well, it's on the opposite side of the wall, so I don't think I need to really mark it out uh, with a torch to prevent stuff from spawning, since I'll be on the right hand side of the wall and all monsters will be on the other side. There's a lot of sheep around. Okay, that cow needs to relinquish its leather. So I think, I don't know, what do you guys think? You reckon that's taken a good shape? I like it. I think uh, I think it'll work well. well I, re I reckon um, I'll probably concentrate on filling in this section, clearing out that building uh building the floors get oh shit you nearly killed me you little bitch fucking animals they can be just as dangerous as uh, the spiders and the creepers okay um uh, yeah for my next session i'll probably clear out this bit fill in the floors and everything and then i'll have this section of the wall incomplete and not actually joined up and then i can kind of move back from there when it comes to it. I keep making hand gestures 
you can't see them. <laughs> Redundancy at its finest. And I was going after the cow, that's what I was doing. But I also need to go after the sheep, because at some point I will carpet the rest of my house over there. <laughs> Just for the sake of not leaving a job unfinished. I guess when you kind of... When you think about it, I gotta have a uh, a sizable project in mind for main maintaining this series. So I guess the castle's a good a good objective for me. Because I don't want to run out of ideas and then just have the series kind of peter out just because I'm a. Uh, not actually doing anything. I don't have purpose. So I'm not sure if I'm more afraid of dying in this series or if I'm afraid of running out of ideas before I, uh, before I die. We'll see what comes first, eh? Okay, this sounds about... I just want to look at that. That's actually quite interesting. I know I'm kind of wasting time, I should be putting to productive use and mining or whatever. But that looks cool. It reminds me of, um... Like, when you kind of view something like that from a distance, it reminds me of those, like, really... Whoa! It looks like a massive mountain. But it reminds me of those really impressive, massive Lego structures that, uh... consist of thousands of blocks that people to put together, and you look at it from a distance, and it has this sort of... this angular texture but at the same time looks like it's got contours and curves and stuff I don't know I was a big fan of Lego when I was um, when I was younger member of like Lego World Club and all this stuff like that I loved it it's good shit that's why I love Minecraft so much because it's essentially to me as soon as I saw that there's like okay Minecraft you build stuff you use blocks and you build stuff but then when I found out there was like zombies and stuff that came out at night, I was like, oh my god, this is what LEGO was always missing. Survival mode! LEGO survival mode! And yeah. <laughs> Big factor in me deciding to buy Minecraft. But anyway, um, I reckon that was a good productive session. I've made some progress with my Minecraft, <laughs> my mine shaft. I haven't actually found anything, but it's gotten deeper, so I'll call that progress. And, uh, in a much more noticeable fashion, I've... Well, those sp Ugh, the roses! They're not spiders! God damn it! <laughs> um, I made some sizable pro uh, progress with my castle, and I'm pleased with that. So, I'll call it a day there. I hope you've enjoyed this session, and I'll be back soon with more Minecraft. So, until then, have yourselves a good one, and I'll catch you guys later.